and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of late code and geeks for geeks within less than five minutes so without wasting time let's get it started so today's problem of the day of geeks for geeks is sub array with equal number of occurrences which is an easy level problem so let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one array arr of integer type and two variables x and y okay two variables x and y and one array arr now what we have to do we have to return number of sub arrays such that the number of occurrences of x and number of occurrences of y is same in them it can be zero as well okay it can be zero as well so what does this mean this means if you will see this one to one here if you will take this much sub array one two you will find the frequency of x is what one frequency of y is also one x is one here and y is two but frequency of x in this point is one and frequency of y is also one so i will mark one as our answer moving forward i will get okay this is another sub array where one is also x is also one y is also frequency one so it will be another sub array so total sub array is two in this way we can make continue making similarly if you will see here one two one here look at this point count is what zero x is zero and y is zero at this point again count is what x is zero y is zero and here also x is zero y is zero so there can be several sub arrays made there can be various sub arrays made if you know with three length how many sub arrays can be made six sub arrays can be made so the answer will be six something like this similarly one to one here also x is equal to one y equal to four so here one only one sub array is there which this two two sub array this is the one sub array where x is also zero and y is frequency of x is also zero and frequency of y is also zero so their frequency is equal in that case we will simply return. okay i hope the question problem statement will be clear now it's a bit tricky to understand moving forward how can we code it look this is a very classic example where we use map so if you have solved something like sub arrays with uh, this sum or total number of sub arrays with this sum and many more problems such like that where we use map to store the count and uh, after that we can simply get the answer okay so map we use map to store the frequencies i have also explained this weird one video so i will be attaching that link in the description as well moving forward so let me explain you the approach look what i will do what this means the simple idea is if you will see this one two two one okay this is our array let's say this is our array now if you will see till this point the x is equal to what x is 1 and y equal to 2 let's say x equal to 1 and y equal to 2 till this point x frequency is also 1 and y frequency is also 1 so let's say i take the difference i take the difference so total difference is what 0 at this point okay all right cool now here i come till this point now again i will check the difference difference is what minus 1 because frequency of 1 is 1 frequency of 2 is 2 so 1 minus minus 1 minus 2 is equal to minus 1 okay minus 1 till this point now again this one came so at this point again the frequency will be what again at this point the frequency will be what zero okay so till this point uh, let me clean this till this point the frequency is zero till this point again the frequency is zero it means count of x and y count of x and count of y is same here okay this is the logic which we have to make you, it can be of anything it can be anything let's say one one two and after that again there is one two okay all right now you will see one thing key here the count is what here the count is what one here the count is what one so this much sub array has a count of x and y same okay so this is the something which we will be using so i will use a map here and uh, i will be storing let's say count of uh, x when x will be coming i will be adding my count if y will be coming i will be subtracting my count so that to get one number i will be storing into the map with its frequency like updating the frequency and if i if that much is already present like i shows like I, like I show earlier as well suppose at this point my count is one i will store in map with frequency one okay and after that i came here i came here again what again the count is what one so i will check in map if this count is already present yes this count is already present so what i will do i will add one to our answer okay i will add one to our answer moving forward i will update this frequency as well again to two okay now here i came the frequency the count will be what one 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 two so count, count is two so i will be updating in map count two is one okay now again two i got so here also i got two so total count is what one again so but this time you can see the count is two so i will be adding two to our answer why because look one frequent sub array is this one sub array is this okay so you just have to add maps like count of that frequency into our answer at that point and we will get the answer i hope the 
problem explanation will be clear if yes please subscribe to the channel and like the video all right now let's move on to the code section then so i will simply do a map of integer mp is equal to new hash map and if you are coding in java if you are coding in c++ python it's all basically same so no need to worry about that int count is equal to zero at this point and answer is equal to zero at also i will be putting map dot put at first starting the count is zero and the frequency is one count is zero its frequency is one because look if at this point one comma two i came the count will be zero but the frequency should be one so that it gets added to the answer okay but if i will not do this line so one comma two is i got one with zero frequency zero sum zero count okay but it will not be added because in map is not present so we have to add zero comma one at the starting okay all right after that it's very very simple i will simply do what i will be using a for each loop to get one one elements from arr i will check if i is equal to x i equal to x what i told i will be adding the count count plus plus okay otherwise if i is equal to y in that case i will be subtracting the count count minus minus okay now i will be updating my answer as well so if mp dot contains key what mp dot contains key what count if it is already present means like in that point at that point also the count was this and now also count is this so we got some sub arrays we have got some sub arrays so i will update my answer plus equal to mp dot get count okay and after that i will be simply updating the count frequency into the map so mp dot put count comma mp dot get or default count comma zero plus one something like this very very easy and at last we will simply return the answer actually i'm also solving it for the first time i'm making the video directly as it is 12 30 pm in the night 12 30 am in the night let's see if it is getting accepted or not uh, meanwhile if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video i think it is getting accepted it should get accepted let's see guys this is a very classic problem and i will request everyone to solve many many more map problem based on this okay all right so i've got my gig bit and i, I got accepted in first attempt please subscribe the channel if you love the explanation and i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye